Hey guys, so um, today's just going to be this look. Whoops, my hair always keeps on falling now. But it's just this look right here. And it's just got like, just all sorts of colours in there. The main colour is the um, green, as you guys can see. But um, I hope you guys like it and keep watching if you want to see the look. I've done my cheeks, my lips. Oh, you can't see them now. It's rubbed off. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I've done the zitri a bit more before. But after. So, um, yeah, this is the look. And keep watching if you want to see it. So my hair is up like this and my hair is wet, sorry about that, but um, yeah, so I've already toned my face, um, applied moisturiser and applied tinted moisturiser and concealer, so yeah, you guys can, yeah. So, um, the start, we're going we're gonna to start off with um, doing something with the eyes, so we're going to start off with getting a paint pot. And the paint pot I am using, well, it's just like a primer. Paint pot is from Best, and I'm just using a concealer brush to apply this all over the lid. Well, not all over the lid, but so from the lash line to the brow bone. And so then we're just going to apply a. Um, eyeshadow that is around the same colour as the paint pot to set it on the lid and then so we're just going to try so we're just going to try and find a colour that is the same um, colour so I have just like yeah I've just found one here and I think I'll use this one so we're just going to apply that all over the lid just to set it a bit um, just try and find the colour that you're most comfortable and most, yes, best that you think is good to use. So, after doing that, your eyes going to look like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of colour on now. So, I'll have some colour on now. And the colours I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to start off with using, um, so the colours I'm going to be using are just colours so it's quite simple and the first one we are going to be using is um, the Body Shop Eye Shimmer in 07 it's just this really pretty um, shimmer colour with like violet shimmer in there with a light blue with violet shimmer so we're just going to put that on our brush and we're just going to apply this from the inner half from so from the outer corner to the inner half and it's just going to give this nice shimmer overall um, yeah. and you're just going to blend that out a bit then you're going to apply a um, yes a light lilac color and this is just going to have it's just going to be a nice shimmery lilac color and I've just got eyelids from MAC I wouldn't say this is the best one MAC has, I wouldn't really recommend it, but it just goes with the flow that I'm trying to do with this, so um, yeah. I'm just going to apply it with the Body Shop brush, and the brush the brushes I've been using is just a concealer brush, and um, the other brush I've been using for the eye shimmer, and the um, similar colour to the paint pot was Elf's Professional Eyeshadow Brush, just so you know. And then, so I'm just going to get that on my brush and tap off the excess and this is just going to go on um, the outer third of the eye or something and then you're just going to blend that away <laughs> so you're just going to blend it um, more in here and blend it a bit up to the crease so it just gives it a bit more of a subtle look. So you have something like this after. And then you're just going to get the main colour of this look. And that is um, my eyeshadow. And it's a pigment. Well, it's a loose eyeshadow. And it is Mint from Elf. From the studio line. And I'm just going to get this with a wet brush, I think. 
I think I'm going to get up with a wet brush. You'll pick up the product a bit more easy. Nothing too wet, just damp, so it picks up the product more. So I'm just getting this on my brush. Try and tap off excess. You can't, and this is just going to go on the outer V of your eye. So try and create a V. on your eye and then we're going to blend that out and then what you're going to do is you're going to get a bit more of that colour and you're going to get it on whatever brush, angle brush, or stain brush, whatever brush you're most comfortable with you're just going to put it under the lash line, um, but just uh, yeah. So from the outer corner, half in lash line. Like so. So after all that time, we're finished with the eyeshadow eyeshadows and this is just how it looks it's very you know just purpley so it goes like from the inner corner neutral purple then green um i just wanted to comment you know not comment like just experiment with colors i actually quite like how it turned out um comment down below if you do <laughs> if you do too but yeah so then we're just going to apply mascara no yes no Yes, then we're going to apply a bit of, um, no, yes, no, yeah, we're going to apply a bit of a dark grey, um, a dark grey colour, this will go with the jeans I've got on today, I'm going to have an outfit of the day, so check that out, and then I'm just going to tight line my eye, and this can be a bit uncomfortable, so a way to do it in the start is just holding up your lid and doing it or you can put it on the waterline close your eyes and then do it but I think that's kind of hard it's kind of ruined my look a bit then <laughs> but I'm just going to tighten line my eye and then we're just going to apply a bit to the waterline from the outer corner half in so it just gives a bit more of a definition to the eye, so it isn't so, you know, crazy. So just have something like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a bit of mascara. But just before that, what I'm going to, no, I'll, put, I'll apply my mascara first. Um, where did I put it? There. And I've just applied Rimmel, Rimmel Sexy Curves. Sexy Curves, whatever. It's just because it's got curves on the brush. But then I'm just going to apply that. Just a light coat though, because you don't want too much. Because this is quite a light pastel, you know. So we just want to have a bit of definition. We, want, we don't want them to be the main thing of this look. So just have something like this. Not so, it, it can be voluminous, it can be whatever, but... I like to find and lengthening. That's just me. Um, but that, yeah. So then we are going to. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. Before that dries, you're gonna quickly get some purple mascara. And whoa, my hair. And you're just gonna quickly apply it to the tips. And this will just give just a little bit of a tint. Something will give a bit more of a fun look. I have no idea, but this is just one of those days where you know you put your makeup on and you're thinking, or you're about, you're gonna put your makeup on and you're thinking. Oh, I want to do something really fun today, something colourful, something springy, wintry, you know, well, whenever <laughs> time it is. But then, um, yeah, so I've just got something like this, and then we're just going to go on to the cheeks. So, for the cheeks, we're going to put a bit of a highlight. And for highlighting, I think I'm just going to get my blending brush, I think, and then I'm going to get just a highlighting colour, champagne highlighting colour. I just got this 
and her last skin finish um, in Summer Precious Pearl. This is a champagne highlighter. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones in self motion. Just blend it out with my tinted moisturizer brush. <laughs> well, it's a foundation brush, but I use it for tinted moisturizer. And it just gives a little bit of a nice glow. So I'll just do that on the other side. And then, um, so then we're going to go on to the cheek part of it. And for that, I think I'm going to get, um, what am I going to get? Which one should I choose? Um, I think I'm going to choose, um, Max Peaches. So I'm just going to, because this is like the most pigmented blush ever, get my blush brush and I'm just going to get a tiny bit on there and then just smile, no, and then I'm just going to apply it from the hairline to the half of the cheekbone. So I'm just going to apply it like so, very lightly, because you don't want it to overpower the look here because you've got a really pretty colourful eye and then you don't want anything to overpower. I'm sorry this is so long, but I'm going to edit like loads because it was like... Just gives a nice glow. I love peach colours. So I really recommend this blush. It's so nice. And it is kind of popular I think. Well, a popular peachy blush. Peachy coral blush. It's more on the orange side than the pink side of peach. Then I'm going to go on to the lips. The lips is just going to be something simple. Um, I already applied lip balm in the first part, so I think I'm just going to. Oh, so we hit the I'm just going to apply it in some way. Um, so I think I'm just going to get. Yes, just going to get that. I'm just going to get my e.l.f. Fairy Fuchsia Mineralized Lipstick. It's just this really pretty um, nudish pink colour. Well, it's not really nudish. But then I'm just going to blow on the back of my hair because I have nothing else. And um, yeah, so I'll just have a nice look here. So this is the finished look. And I hope you guys liked it. Woo! And, um, yeah, so I hope it's not over 50 minutes. Well, I can actually have over 50 minutes now. Yay! Um, yeah, so please rec um, rate, subscribe, and comment. I really would appreciate it if you did subscribe. My hair will be good in the, f in the start, I'm guessing. But, um, yeah, so uh, please just please subscribe. Um, I really would be really grateful if you did. And um, so just go through the look again. And it's just this really pretty pastel thing. Please, uh, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. And also, um, you can just ask any beauty thing for me to do, and I will do it. I really will do it. So, um, yeah, I promise. So, any beauty thing, I will. And also, any questions you got me, got me that you think I can relate to, or you know I can relate to, then just answer, and I will answer as fast as I can. And it will be fast, because I don't usually get things like that. But anyway, so I hope to see you guys next time. And, and